Incense is a risk to your brain health. Let me explain exactly why that's the case. I'm Dr. Austin Perlmutter, and if you care about your brain, make sure you're following this channel. Incense is incredibly popular around the world, and it's been used historically for thousands of years in ritual and religion, and as part of people's daily practice. The issue with incense is that per gram burned, it actually produces almost five times more brain damaging particulate matter than does a cigarette. In one observational study in older adults, they found that people with higher exposure to incense had significantly worse cognitive function after a multi-year period. And this doesn't surprise me because, again, the association here is very powerful. People with more exposure to specifically the air pollutants released by incense have been well known to have higher rates of everything from Alzheimer's to depression to worse test taking and so much more. Now, there is some data around scented molecules and benefit to brain function. So is it possible that certain scents that are in incense could even in a short amount of time change brain function for a positive way and decrease stress? Sure. However, I don't believe in any way that that is outweighing the risk posed by the amount of specifically PM 2.5, these tiny little particles in incense that are generated by the use of incense. So I would say at this time, using incense, especially in large quantities in an enclosed closed indoor setting where you're breathing in a lot of it would absolutely be something I would recommend against if you're trying to take steps to protect your brain, not just in the long run, but even in the short run, because we know air pollution is correlated with alterations in how the brain functions in a short amount of time. I know that some people are going to push back on this and say people have been using incense for many years. That is true, but the data now have evolved, and I believe this is all the more reason to continue to stay up on the science and why I personally will avoid incense in my life. For more information like this, make sure you're following this channel. I'll link the study I referenced below.